In the robotics program, we get to learn how to manipulate robotic arms and mechatronics, basically, to do what we want them to do. And in the growing industry today, with robotics, there's a, a ton of applications for this. We learn how to move an end effector to pick up an object we want to pick up and where to move it to make the robot do what we want it to. You kind of get the holistic view that a robot is both a mechanical and electrical component and it needs to be treated in both aspects. This field of robotics and mechatronics is really exciting because this is the growth we're seeing in industry. Us engineers are going to have to apply both mechanical and electrical concepts to automate the future, which is what we're seeing all through manufacturing and industry is this push for things being automated and controlled by ro robots. One thing about our robotics and mechatronics program that I really love is that our professors care about our students as whole people. Not just about making you into a great engineer, but also making sure um, that you're following the plan that God has for you um, and that you're finding fulfillment um, in your future life goals. One of the main advantages of robotics is the amount of time you spend in the lab with your professor. Usually they'll be staying there after classes with us and they're just so helpful. It's a big project-based class and the student to instructor relationship is very good, especially here at JBU. You can kind of just basically, whenever you're stuck on a part of a project, it's really nice to just be able to go to the instructor and kind of like get help or get like a little nudge on where to kind of move next. A lot of people think that you have to be like a rocket scientist to do robotics and that's just not the case at all. Robotics is fundamental math and base level programming to actually get these robotic arms and mechatronics moving um, the way you want them to. One thing I really love to see is students, when they're learning new concepts or struggling with things they've never seen before, and it finally clicks, and they have that light bulb moment, and really this whole concept or world of engineering suddenly becomes open to them, and they can start imagining the possibilities and seeing how these concepts apply in the real world, bridging that gap between theoretical and real life.